This tool is amazing, it prints money. Let me explain. When Blur Season 1 dropped, over 300 million tokens were given to traders. This liquidity boost for traders was wild, with four, five, even six figures in value given out to these traders. People took notice, now Q Season 2. Now, with the rewards from Season 1 in mind, people have been going extra hard for Season 2. They have been exclusively using Blur for trading and their volume, but also engaging in risky bid farming for points. Hell, Blur even has a 24-hour leaderboard so you can see what's happening daily. Bid farming can be hard. It takes a bit of liquidity and it takes a lot of attention. If only there was some way to automate the bidding. Huh. Well, there is. Blur Bidders does just that. In this video, I'm not going to explain how to set it up, but I'm going to give you a rundown of what it does, what it looks like, and all of that so you understand all the features, as well as how you can also get your hands on the software. What you do is you load up a wallet. Now, I suggest a burner for safety because you do need to copy and paste your private key so it can have control over a wallet. The team's doxxed, everything's fine and safe. It's just the way that I like to run. Now, you download and run the software. Now, it's not a polished, crazy UI. It does look like this, but it does make you feel a little bit like a hacker. Now, after setting it up, the bot looks at all the projects that qualify with the funds that you have in your bid pool. You can decide what projects to exclude from this. So if you know that there's some wash trading or something a little bit sus going on, you can actually exclude them. So it's not just going on everything. And then you hit run. It will go through and automatically place bids for you and cancel them when you need to as well. It's basically just having a bot that looks at all of your bids all of the time to make sure that you stay safe and don't get dumped on. Now look, there are some metrics that keep you safe. They've got these walls in place. They want 25 bids in front of you and 10 bidders as well. Now this wall should give you enough safety when you are bid farming. Now this isn't a foolproof carefree way to bid farm. There are risks. So you do need to come to terms with and stomach the fact that all of your bids could actually be accepted. It's not 100% risk free. Now this can happen if there's some manipulation, if there's some whales, if there's some wash trading or people just wanting to dump on farmers. Wonder Pals had around 1500 NFTs dumped onto the market within the last day or so, absolutely dunking on farmers. And this is both manual and bots. So it's not something that you can easily be protected from because these are real bids that you're putting in and these are bids that can be accepted. So what I'm trying to say is it is risky and it can happen. Now to the good stuff. Right now on this test account, I've got 0.5 ETH loaded and it's making around 0.3 points per hour, which is around seven points a day. This almost seems like a small amount and it is, but when you look at where my bids are, this isn't a super aggressive bid strategy. It's actually quite conservative. There is a decent wall, it's quite safe and it's built this way by design. So it can be running 24 hours a day, seven days a week to ensure that you are getting points without having to be there and worried about getting dumped on by a whale. If you do have more in your pool, you're able to actually get more points because you open up the market of what you can actually bid on. So you can bid on more blue chips and some of the mid caps. So how can this print money? Here is some napkin math for you. The blue token price is currently 68 cents, almost 69. And it's been estimated that one point equals 20 to 30 blue tokens. This means at seven points a day, I'm making between $95 and $145. Where it gets crazy is if you drop two, three, five, even 10 ETH, you actually exponentially grow the amount of points that you can get because you have more access to more projects to bid on, but you can also bid more on those projects that you're actually bidding on in the first place. But yes, these estimates can be off. The blur token can drop in price. Bidding may not be as lucrative, especially after the double points drops, but I actually think it's gonna go the other way because people won't be bidding as much and all of those things in between. Now, the first thought that I had is that if it's a money printing machine, then why would the team share it? Why would the team want other people to have access to this? So I actually asked the team. And at first they said that it was just them they were using it and they're having a great time and they shared it with their friends. And now it is a way to actually offset the development costs while they wait for season two to finish. Now that is me putting a little bit of words in their mouth, but essentially they do wanna still keep it small. It is a subscription model and they wanna keep it to a very tight group of around 333 people. People, but if the demand is absolutely crazy over the top, they can actually move that number up so it isn't set in stone. 
Now, this is still super new, and if you wanna get in, here's what you need to do. You need to join their server and claim access, and you can get in straight away. They want it to be open yet exclusive, so there isn't even a Twitter account for it yet. Now look, to get to the nitty gritty, this isn't against Blur's terms of service and use, because these are real bids and they can be accepted. The team actually also reached out to the Blur mods and actually asked them, and they said there wasn't an issue with it. But overall, if you're a farmer and something like this can give you an edge on a burner to just get more points, then more power to you. If you can use tools and resources to get what you were already doing, but do it in a more efficient and safer way, then that is awesome and more power to you. So hopefully you found value in this video. Hopefully you liked this video and hopefully I opened your eyes to something new that you may not knew existed. If you did, go down there, look for that subscribe button, hit that up also as well as the like button. As always, it's been a pleasure having you with me. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.